Hi guys, in today's video, we'll be looking at how we can add custom functions to our custom object classes. And we'll look at how you can declare those both at the class level and at the instance level. So let's jump into Visual Studio and take a look. So let's just start by adding a function called send email. So we'll say public because we want our function to be public, void, and then the name of our function. So we'll call this one send email. And actually we'll take a string parameter on that one called message. So we're not actually going to implement this function. We're just going to add a comment and say, to do send email to user if they have an email address. And actually, that should be contact, not user. So this is us creating a function on our class. Now, you might notice that in previous lessons, when we've created a function, we've always prefixed it with static. Uh, static is essentially when you create an instance of something, you are you're creating a new version of that object. With static functions and properties, you're actually just adding them on to the end of the object rather than having a new one every time you create an instance of that. So what that might look like is, let's create a static function as well. Let's say public static... Um, do something. So if we put, we've got our, oh, actually public static void do something. So we've got our static function here. But if we go into our item here, we, we, you'll see that we can actually do contact record dot do something. So when you think about adding a static property or a static function, Essentially, what you're doing is you're adding it to the class rather than a, an instance of a class, which is what we get when we create new. If we go into Steve and look in here, we this is the instance of a contact record. And you'll see we don't actually have oh, do something in there because because we've got a new version of contact record. We're not actually getting Steve. Uh, we're not actually getting the do something function. But when we talk directly to just the object, not a new object, but the object, we then are able to access those static functions. So I don't want to cover static too much more in this video. It is something that I'm going to do a video specifically about because there's times when you would want to do it and times when you wouldn't want to do it. But typically when you're working with your objects, you want to make sure that your functions and your properties are just public and not public static. So now that we've got our send email function, what we will do is look at how we can access that from our program. So let's just jump out. And so we've got Steve here. He's our contact. And we'll say Steve dot send email. You see here, it's the purple cube and it has the string message parameter. So we might say, send Steve a message saying, hello, Steve, how's it going? And then if we'd have actually hooked that function up to anything, it might send Steve a message. And you can imagine on a contact, there might be a number of functions that you would want to do with a contact. So when you're thinking about what functions to add to your class, think, well, how would people typically want to use this object uh, in our specific use case? And because we're building a contacts program, uh, what we would want to do is perhaps make a call. So we could call Steve. Uh, we might also want to send an SMS to his telephone number. We might also want to open his website. Um, so those are functions that we would perhaps attach to Steve. 
which would allow us to make use of his email address or his phone number or his website. So when you're thinking about designing your object classes, you could look at what information you need to store and that would be assigned to a property. Uh, and you could also look at what actions would I like to do with this object? And you would declare that as a function. Hi guys, well done for making it to the end of the video. Just a quick heads up that there is a link to the project files from today's session in the video description. If you have any questions about anything we've covered today, feel free to leave me a comment. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Let's <laughs> go.